we're talking about legal mm. malpractice, what we're talking about is lawyers gone bad, I guess? Yes, they've, uh, they've either made mistakes or they've crossed the ethical lines on fiduciary duty breaches, runs the gamut. What is crossing the line? Well, oftentimes crossing the line is a conflict of interest uh, or putting your interests ahead of your clients. I mean, that's fundamental in a, in a legal representation. Or Give me an example. Well, you're going to self-deal. You see a great business opportunity that the client has comes to you about doing a contract or something like that, and you figure out maybe there's a way for you to make a little bit more money than your fee. Once you start crossing that line of trying to make a little bit more money than your fee, yeah. you're, uh, you're crossing the line. What do you look for as essential elements in any legal malpractice case? Well, you, you have to first establish that there was an, an attorney-client relationship. And sometimes yeah. people think that so-and-so was their lawyer, and they really weren't. They maybe represented the company, uh, and there's some strict guidelines there. How okay? could they get confused about that? Well, because lawyers speak globally. Uh, yeah. and, and sometimes uh, not, in, not in a devious sense, but we, we represent you, and the you becomes a lot more than who they actually represent. So, mm -hmm. so the attorney-client relationship is number one. Okay. Number two is, has there been a breach of the standard of care? Has there been something that the lawyer has done wrong that you can prove, and that's usually proved by, proven by expert testimony? Mm -hmm. uh, these, these cases are handled by me actually going to retain another lawyer yeah. who is expert in that field to look at the circumstances, to look at the documents, to hear the testimony, to read the depositions, mm -hmm. and then to opine as to whether or not the lawyer deviated from the standard of care as it applied under those circumstances. Right. So you have to have that. If you don't have that, you can't even get to the jury. The judge will cut the case off. And then the other thing is you actually have to have damages. Uh, right. It can't just be a breach. If there's a breach and somebody did something wrong but it really didn't cause anything, well, that's for the... Uh, well, the damages could be you paid this lawyer and you shouldn't have paid the lawyer or he took too much money. That's the damages, right? Yes. Oh, it can be. Right. Um, I've had situations where uh, lawyers taking too much on a fee. Now, there yeah. are rules about that. So what you're saying is just because a client is willing to sign something, if you know that it isn't in their best interest, you can't do it. You can't do it. Right. That's right. That's exactly where the, the ethics are. So yeah. my question to you is, what makes a good lawyer? Well, I think, number one, it's reputation and it's yeah. referral. I, I think that the best lawyers are those that are known by their contemporaries and by their um, opponents. Right. Uh, I have gotten many cases referred to me by people I have been on the other side with. And you won the case. Uh, well, I, I may not have won the case, but I may have, I may have gotten a good result under the circumstances. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think what, th what they want to know when a lawyer sends a client to another lawyer is they want to know that that other lawyer is going to take care of that client and pursue that matter within the best of his or her abilities. Uh, and I think that's what makes a good lawyer uh, nowadays, is just trying to get the result under the circumstances, the best one possible for your client. One of the reasons I do these shows is because I recognize there's a lot of good lawyers, and lawyers have a kind of a bad name. Right. And uh, how do you change that perception? I don't, I'd like to say that we could do it overnight. I, I don't think it'll ever happen because, yeah. it, because uh, it's an adversarial proceedings in, in, in most of the circumstances. You got your lawyer, I got my lawyer, so it's adversarial. Yeah. Uh, everybody likes their lawyer, but they hate the other guy's lawyer. Yeah. Okay? So I don't know that we're going to be able to fix it. And there's always, again, uh, lawyers have human frailties and they yeah. do things they shouldn't do. Um, the key, I think, is in these bar associations and the, and the, uh, and the disciplinary commissions and how aggressive they get with, uh, when they see something go wrong. Right. If, they, if they're going to wink an eye at it, uh, then obviously it's gonna, you're going to have it. Yeah. Um, uh, you really need to have these uh, regulatory agencies out there doing their jobs.